but today we're going to talk about pie chart so let's just start with pie chart we have that in charts menu so here we go okay so let's just start with adding one dimension so let's add our favorite category name and then let's add quantity sum of quantity so you know very simple you can just make you see by default it has some percentages so let's just see what options we have in there so category name we can just change the label or we can have put formula if you see as compared to the other charts there is a by default option for the fixed number if you see the other charts normally this option is not there we have the option no limit session but here we have the option for fixed numbers this is because the pie chart is best seen with a less number of dimensions so that is by default option but let's just put it by to five and see it's all uh, the rest of them are in others and we can just get away with that and we can just see the top one rather than all five with others and then we can just add it to the master dimension and there are other options the exact value I just we want to see the number with certain exact value will be more these stuff so yeah just let's get back to the view we can all add alternate dimension over here and you know what is that if you don't know you can watch my video of charts properties that is a detailed video over there for all these values then we have a year so in the year we can just change the label to quantity okay in any of these properties if you are not exactly sure you can't get the details i have done a detailed video rather three videos which have a details of charts properties each and everything in detail so you can go there and check what you exactly can you can do over. there is a number format we have over here and then if you see we have an option over here to add a radius so let's just add another measure over here so essentially we can add a secondary measure here in this bar pie chart so this is how it is reflected so the size this particular size is being reflective of uh, the value itself okay. so for the time being just ignore this one and we will come to that how these properties will change when we come to that we have the sorting option so we can do the sorting that doesn't really, really matter uh, because when you are doing the analysis you can just you know by mouse scroll you can just wheel it up so it doesn't matter which sorting you have and then there is a data handling option if you see as compared to the other charts there is only one data handling condition there is no reference line condition so in data handling calculation we can just add, write a formula that either to show it or not and then we have in appearance there is general properties just you can write title and all those things alternate state we have discussed that in detail and uh, there will be video and comparative analysis it will be further discussed in detail uh, but there are ch in chart properties it has been discussed then we have styling option in styling option we have the outline and we have the corner radius exactly how it's gonna show if we have donut then the styling chart will also have the option for the inner chart you see so it looks now modern look beautiful look as well. and then these are the values auto label values we can custom it as well and in custom you see by default it's a percentage we do not have any option to change the percentage but here we have to change it share means percentage and we can change it to value and if we can make it a little bigger it will show the exact values they have 
let's just put it back and have it over values and then in the legion part we can have it auto work or we can custom it based on dimension or the measures whatever we choose and then we can have the color range maximum to minimum so we're not going to do that in terms of the shape and then we can choose the legion's position for the color once we have the color option selected so then there is a legion positions coming in as well so we can just choose that let's say just on the left side the right side bottom top whatever we seems fit so we can just you know paste it in a different direction and then the tooltip option uh, i think you all know uh, again that has been discussed in detail in our chart properties videos and there will be another video on that as well uh, stay tuned on that okay so this is a simple one we have done it with one measure and one dimension just remember there is only one dimension option in pie chart but there can be two measures and click so just see how the properties changes if we have two measures in here we go with category and then we have some of sorry let's just sales amount just add it and then we have the second one as quantity sum of quantity yeah, here we go we have the chart over here so we just can number formatting and all those things sorting option add-on option and appearance there is nothing different no nothing different and nothing different over here as well but if we choose this donut one you know this seems like and then we if you go to the styling and we just decrease the inner radius so yeah that's looking better more compre uh, readable comprehensible and sorry uh, and the other the, the options are here as well so that's it for pie chart stay tuned bye bye